Hey everyone, welcome back to the Herb Rally Podcast. This is Mason Hutchison. Uh, just to let you know, we still have about a little over a week uh, until the end of February. We're running our podcast contest, and that is to win one of Cap Meyer's books, Energetic Herbalism. Basically, for every 10 written reviews we receive, uh, we're going to give away a copy of Cap Meyer's book, Energetic Herbalism. So reviews really help out the discoverability of the show. So if you got a second, please go to your podcast player of choice, be that Apple Podcasts uh, or iTunes or whatever, whatever you listen to the podcast in, leave a review. Uh, you'll be entered to win a copy of Cap Meyer's book, Energetic Herbalism. And for every 10 written reviews we receive, uh, we'll give away a copy. So yeah, to officially enter to win, all you have to do is leave a written review uh, and then send me a screenshot of that written review at mason at herbrally.com. Uh, we'll give away the book or the books at the beginning of March. Also, uh, today's episode is actually a short little snippet of Christina Sanchez's uh, class on Joshua Tree, Saving the Joshua Tree. And this is from our Herb Rally Schoolhouse. This is our new membership area. We just launched it on February 2nd, 2022. Uh, and in honor of that, we want to do a giveaway. So if you'd like to register for the schoolhouse for free for 30 days, just enter coupon code free school at checkout by the end of February. Plus, you'll be automatically entered to win a gift basket worth $210. So for full details to register and to enter to win the gift basket, just go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. We're running this giveaway through the end of February 28th, so be sure to do that now if you're interested. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, one more time to check out the schoolhouse, go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse and enjoy today's short little snippet episode with Christina Sanchez. Uh, oh, by the way, you can follow her on Instagram at everyleafspeaks. I'll include a link to that in the show notes. Okay, that's it for me. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina Sanchez, and I'm here in Eugene with Herb Rally today. Uh, I come from the Mojave Desert. Uh, I was raised in this little town in the Eastern Coachella Valley known as the Colorado Desert. So I'm a desert girl and I'm here in this place that's so unlike the desert. So I wanna start off by talking a little bit about the importance of supporting and uh, protecting biodiversity and what that means overall. As herbalists, uh, we look at plants, but sometimes some folks don't look at plants in the sense that we don't know where they're coming from or the impacts from supporting the demand for harvesting the plants. So we don't consider the overall impact that we can be having onto a community of plants and an ecosystem. So I'm here today to share some information on conservation and as well as how we can ourselves help when it comes to climate change, how we can mitigate climate change by planting the appropriate plants in our own landscapes. This could be taken you know, from the desert if you're in the desert or you know, here in the Pacific Northwest. So let's start off by talking about a plant that is the icon of the Mojave Desert. And I have uh, another podcast uh, that I did for Herb Rally last August in 2020 that you can refer back to that has more information on the conservation work. I'm gonna talk more about the ecology and its uses in the past. So Joshua Tree is a member of uh, the agave family and it is not a tree as most folks would think. This is actually what we would call in um, botany, it's arborescent, it's like tree-like. It's got that main stem, but if we were to cut the plant in half, you would notice that it doesn't have annual tree rings as we would see with other trees. Uh, it almost has like a sponge-like loofa um, core. So it's not a true tree. Um, and I also want to elaborate on the fact that it's also the Latin name is Yucca brevifolia. And there's many different species of yuccas that to the untrained eye, folks can confuse these different members of yucca for being a Joshua tree. Joshua trees are endemic, meaning they only grow in the Mojave Desert. And within the Mojave Desert, it has a specific distribution range and elevation of which it occurs. Uh, you can see them occurring at about 2,500 feet in elevation. And I've seen the highest one occurring right under 6,000 feet in elevation. So these plants definitely can grow quite high um, in the desert. Their range, I talked about how it occurs in the Mojave, but there's a subspecies that hasn't been recognized officially by science, but there is the Western Joshua tree, which I'm gonna be talking about in terms of the conservation work that has been done. And then there's the Eastern Joshua tree, which that Latin 
to name is Yucca hagriana. And that species occurs more in the eastern side of the Mojave Desert. So we're talking about the Mojave National Preserve going into um, Nevada and as well as Arizona. So and in Utah. So uh, there are two different species and if you were to ever see them both, you'll definitely recognize the characteristics are much different from one another. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Herb Rally podcast. If you'd like to hear more from us here at Herb Rally, we now have a text message community, believe it or not. Basically, it's just updates from us. We send about one to seven texts per week, uh, notifying you about new events, videos, courses, podcasts. You get the idea. It's pretty much like our email newsletter, just in text form. So if you'd like to receive text messages from Herb Rally, just text JOIN, that's J-O-I-N, to the number 541-256-2895. Again, that's JOIN to number 541-256-2895. And to stop receiving texts, that's easy too. Just text STOP to the same number. It'll opt you out immediately. Okay, thanks again for listening. Have a great rest of your day.